So um, at the moment, there are 93 million primary age children in the world who aren't in school. Why do we think that is? Is it because they're off skiving or because there isn't that facility? How can we get them back into school? I think it must be because there isn't that facility in a lot of developing countries. I mean, if, if you're struggling to work out where your next meal or your next glass of water is coming from, education isn't you know, getting the kids to school, even if there is a school. It can't be you know, high up your list of priorities. It's not just that they haven't, they've got other things to think about, it's that actually education isn't, isn't valued because it's not going to lead them to a steady job. However, education does provide you with knowledge which you can pass on to other people, so it doesn't necessarily have to be paid work. But the fact is you can actually make a difference and use that to your advantage. You can set up your own business. Knowledge is power. <coughs> yeah, but, but if you're in a society where... Like, for example, I know someone who lives in Togo, and he, um, he even has a master's. He's a really intelligent guy, and um, he can't get a job. <laughs> and he's been looking for work for about two years now, and he makes candles, and he does things with his hands that aren't using what he's learned in school for all those years. So that's just... very, very different, though, from sort of developing countries where there is no education yeah. whatsoever. And sort of people don't even have the basic numeracy and literary skills. It should be about, I think, certainly developing countries, but everywhere throughout the world, making education not just academic. Healthcare is a great one. If you're a mother, then you can still be a very caring person, but if you don't know that the bug is what causes malaria, then you, you, you don't know how to solve it. So I think it's about making education relevant. I think you need education, but you also need life skills. And the only way to get that is through experiences and people sharing their experiences with other people. What's actually universal to developing countries and developed countries is that, what well, I think, it's not fair that people should have a different level of education according to the background and the wealth of their families. And isn't it interesting when we compare developed countries um, where often kids don't want to go to school because it's not perhaps valued so much in their family, even though the standard of education is probably much better than developing countries. And in developing countries, people value education so much and they all want to go, and yet the, the standard is much lower. Like, that's an interesting relationship. Yeah. It's almost like they need to be made aware of how much opportunities they have compared to most so that they actually don't feel so disempowered and that their only solution is to go and do labour work because that's not, actually, that's not actually their only choice in a first world or de a developed country. So what does God think about education? I think, I think in my experience of being a Christian, I would say that God wants us to study to show ourselves approved, meaning that he values it. He sees it as a way of helping others. You can't live a life in all its fullness if you don't, I, I don't think if you haven't had an education. Um, I think it's beholden upon Christians to make sure that people around the world are able to have the same life opportunities that we do. Don't you think that that in terms of your relation with God, there could be a case uh, for the argument that ignorance is bliss and that you could have a much happier, kind of more peaceful relationship with God as an individual without the sort of distracting external factors of the world around you? No, I mean, I think you can have knowledge of other things and that doesn't have to impact upon your faith in a negative way. I think it actually would make your faith stronger if you know there's tens of other religions out there, but actually you're still with this one. That doesn't weaken your faith, I don't think.